All right, we are finally back. Oh my God, that took forever to get my computer working again. Had some water cooling issues, needed to get that fixed, but the shipping took forever. But we are finally back just in time for the Somber update. So we're gonna be, of course, looking at her legendary skins and checking them out, see if they're worth picking up for a thousand golds. Not 3,000 like the Halloween patch. We are finally back to normal. So today we're looking at the cyberspace skin. Uh, the remodeling is very well done. It's a bit more futuristic than her regular skin, so it goes hand in hand with her amazing elite hacking skills. Other than that, we're looking at the uh, texture quality. It's good. I mean, texture quality is just fine. It looks outstanding up close. Uh, it's just very basic. I mean, it's got rubber suit kind of plastic rubbery tubing and side skirt and then a metal sheen for the gun very basic stuff but what else are you gonna do i mean it, this is how things should work minus the side skirt i don't know why they made it very plasticky it doesn't really show up on this one but if you look at the other color scheme it looks really obvious almost a metal sheen to it because it's black um, now Deciding between the color schemes on this set, I chose the black and white because uh, the black and purple, as much as that is my favorite color scheme, the blonde hair just ruined it for me. I'm like, that doesn't match at all. Should have had some kind of matching like this one does. I mean, it has matching blue highlights. It works. It just pulls it all together. And the blonde hair just kind of sticks out randomly it doesn't go with like any of her other hairstyles so that got ruined for me but black and white and blue highlights i actually use that in some of my other uh character customization games like uh warframe and my frost prime as you know frost but let's get into the game and i am running from a D oh god hi diva I kind of should have seen that coming. <laughs> so, Sombra is definitely a flanker, uh, like Genji, Tracer. She's on the she's on the attack side, so it makes sense. She's either doing a ton of damage, or she's flank. This girl is a flank. My job is to get behind the tanks, not fight them up close and personal, take out their back end resources, like. So it's easier to pick off enemies one by one. Also, with the ability to take out their abilities. The main choice we have is to decide whether or not we're going to take out their uh, health packs or their abilities, depending on what position their enemy team is at. Get the free time, get some back end potions. Makes it easier for you to stick around and uh, be a bigger pain in the neck or get rid of their defensive abilities so they can't escape or fight back. Either way, it's going to look really good on you and you're going to show off your amazing skills. And that is a quick win and a good look at the cyberspace skin. Up to you whether you like it or not, uh, or if you prefer it over the Witch Doctor skin. Looking at that next. Either way, definitely a great choice. Only worth a thousand gold and you easily picked up one of the best skins in the game. Hope you enjoy the new character.